Hi, I want to do a quick review on this new uh, light source I got for film scanning from Negative Supply. Uh, this is the newest light source Mini 97 uh, CRI for film scanning. Um, they just start shipping this, I believe. And I have here is the Negative Supply uh, medium format uh, film carrier. So I want to see if this uh, can sit on top of the supply uh, well or not. Previously, I've been using uh, Reflecta. Um, it worked okay. It just uh, it's not bright enough and certainly the CRI is a little lower so the um, uh, the color when I scan color film it's kind of uh, difficult. Um, in the box it has instructions Looks like this is the power supply. Well, I haven't really, since I got it yesterday, I haven't opened it yet. Okay, so it has the European plug. It looks like a, well, not European. What was that? One of those international plugs. And yeah, this is what we need for the US. This guy. And this one right here. What is this? Oh yeah, this is this is another style of plug. And then this is that European style, I think. It's the round ones. Okay. On this, uh, if they have European, does that mean it can go, uh, let's see, input. Okay, so you can use it for uh, up to 40 household voltage. So uh, it's kind of a cool. So just go ahead and pop this in here and let's see here. Yes, it's like this. Push this down and then pop it in there. There you go. Just push it in there. Yeah, put that in. Perfect. So if we take it off, just do that. Yeah. Is the the main um, event, the main device. Let's see how big this thing is. Okay, I have one hand. Two. Okay. So you have just a regular plug-in to mate with this the power supply, and that's what it looks like. Let's see. Uh, the quality looks good. It does seem like the belt is, looks to me, it's a, just a 3D print. They all 3D print. It's the same thing, but it's really well done. On the um, negative uh, medium format film carrier, you can tell it's kind of a 3D printed. Some of the parts as well. It works okay. So let's see if this thing fits. It looks like this, um, what would you call it? This frame around on the bottom uh, fits perfectly to um, this. So I think you're supposed to do it this way. And that goes to right on here. And it doesn't move. So see. That goes through into that. There you go. Okay, that works pretty good. There's a little bit of a extra material here with a power supply end, and perfectly well, not perfectly, but slightly uh, wider on this side as well. But um, this other side looks flush. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to power this on later tonight and compare that with my Reflecta. Um, a light table. So you're gonna have to excuse me for the big mess here, <laughs> my work table. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, the uh, negative supply mini uh, light source. Just came out. Um, it's really, really bright. I just wanna do a quick comparison between the one I used, uh, I've been using before, like this Reflecta. Uh, light table. This is uh, the smallest one. 
I can't remember what they're called, but it's one of the smallest one. It costs about a hundred bucks. Um, so the light table come with a, a two mold. So this or let's see. There's a brighter one and there's a dimmer one. I don't know how hard to say it, see it in the video probably. But it's overall, I mean, it does a good job. It's not super bright. It's kind of, you know, provide a pretty good even light source. So let's see about this guy. Um, there's This one, it doesn't have an on-off button that I know of, so you just have to plug it in. So this how bright it is. It's a lot brighter than this. The color temperature is a bit warmer on this one than this. This one almost feel like a daylight balance. This one almost feel like constant, but I'm not entirely sure. But relatively speaking, this is definitely warmer um, color temperature than this. Um, it's nice to have a brighter source because you can keep your shutter speed up a little bit. And with this one, I think I was using like 1 15th or 1 20th of a second at f8. I use a Sony uh, A7R4 body uh, because, you know, just 61 megapixel has a little bit more details. Um, you may argue that, you know, some film, they're probably not going to make too much difference, but this is what I use. I have two of these cameras, so this is one of them just almost permanently mounted on the copy stand. The copy stand I got is just a cheap one from Amazon. Um, the lens I use, it's adapted to, uh, uh, it's a Canon mount with a Canon Sony adapter. This is a Lawa 60 millimeter uh, micro. This one works really well. Has a lot of pin cushion distortion, but Lightroom ha does have a, a lens profile. So once it's applied, it's fine. So it's a great lens. Nice little manual focus. Um, I have over here, it's a Zeiss. Um, <clears throat> uh, what's that called? 100 mil F2 uh, Melvis. Um, in order to use that lens, I will have to get a bigger uh, copy stand. So, uh, so far uh, for medium format and 35 millimeter, this Lawa 60 mil works really well. 